Hey guys, Ryan House here, and welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress. And what we did, I went ahead and tasked our dwarves to go ahead and smooth the inside of our aqueduct. So they'll be working on that. These are our idle dwarves that have nothing else to do right now. And we have several dwarves like that, actually. So let's go ahead and get them working on activities. Oh, really? Actually, you are stuck. That's bad. That's very bad indeed. Alright, so we need to place a wall there though. So let's get a wall back up. There we go. So yeah, dwarves are busy smoothing out the aqueduct walls. And I want to do it now before we don't have a chance to do it in the future. Once this thing is filled with water. And it shouldn't take too long, and it's going to improve the overall value of our fortress as well. So we'll get more dwarves in the long run. It's something that's not completely finished. Lots of work to do, though. Lots of work. Alright, so... Very good, though. Let's see here. Let us get our dwarves to start mining this and that. So we'll mine all of that. Start mining that out as well. Have them start mining out the wells. Yeah, so that'll keep our miners nice and busy. Coming together nicely, dwarves. Coming together nicely. Keep up the good work. Place another floor hatch. We have two more. That's good. Alright, so the save is all done. We can continue on. So we have plenty of seed and drink and meat. Okay. Good. This is going to be nice once it's all done. I'm telling you guys, this fortress is going to look really cool. There's not going to be anything else out there like it. I'll tell you that right now. Now, we need more hatch covers. Let's just build several just to be safe. And we're going to need lots of floodgates as well. So build us up some floodgates. And we're going to need rock mechanisms. Let's get those all queued up. And what else are we going to need? What else? Really? Oh, well, you look at that. So, <laughs> okay. The, the stray yak cow just gave birth. That means that the sire was the water buffalo bull that we killed. <laughs> oh, man. Do we have another one? 
Yeah, we do. Alright, well that's good to know. Uh, what I'm gonna do here... I don't know. It's good to know that the bull does work. He worked. He worked out, so he did sire a calf. Alright. Alright. I'm just gonna finish smoothing out all the rest of this here. I think smoothing out your fortress is one of the best ways to drive up the value of your fortress. Um, another another way is, and it sounds kind of cheesy, but if you build tons and tons of rock mechanisms to sell, uh, rock mechanisms actually have a pretty good trade value. Uh, that's another way to really boost up your wealth early on. Let's keep that in mind. And then when your dwarves get in fey moods and they start creating those wonderful masterpieces of dwarven artifacts, that's when your value really starts to skyrocket. Especially when you get a piece that's worth like 68,000 dwarf bucks or more. <clears throat> Yeah, so, very good, very good indeed. Okay, so, here's our floor hatches. Probably place a lever right here. Yeah. Looking good. Looking real good. Coming along. I think that's all the floor hashes we're going to need for now. I also like to place floor hatches over our... Over these. I'll show you. Over these areas... But those aren't really necessary right now. Alright. And our goats are giving birth. It's spring. New life is arriving. It's beautiful. Pull the lever! And let's go kill something here. <laughs> let's go kill something. Let's slaughter that cow. Oh, he's been ready for slaughter. Okay.
Yeah, we can have some veal. It's gonna be delicious veal. There we go. Plenty of food incoming. And speaking of which, let's get uh, some easy meals pumped out, shall we? And let's brew some drink. Why not? Alright, should be good. Should be very good indeed. And throw out some excess refuse. <clears throat> Gotta let that refuse get outside, right? Gotta throw it away. And what is that? I guess bones and things start to decay after a while. You gotta get rid of them. Gotta empty them out. They are busy. They want to finish this thing so bad. At least they're enjoying their work. That's good. Now, let's go ahead and place some floodgates here. Floodgates are X, right? So they can place those floodgates. Hopefully without getting themselves trapped in the process. <laughs> they should be alright. Our miners are working so fast now, it's awesome. We're quickly going to run out of tasks for them now. Which is kind of amazing considering how long it's taken us to get, get to where we're at right now. Well, they will be done in no time, trust me. And then we'll sh set up shop down here as soon as we actually get the, uh, the farm plot finished. Alright, so the floodgates have been placed. Uh, let's see here. Considering just having all of those floodgates. Let me see. Let's go ahead and place this flood over here. Let's do it. And then once they're all detailing this, we can place the floodgate up there as well. Looking good, looking good. The final floodgates will be placed right here and right here, and then we're going to have to actually, we need to link up some of these floodgates first. Let's see. This could be the inflow. This could be the outflow. I have a lot of extra levers right now. Don't worry, we'll use what we need and then we'll just get rid of the rest. Thank you. 
What does that icon mean? Thirst. Some of these uh, arrows, like the colored arrows that point down, usually means like they're hungry or they're thirsty, but there's different types. I'm wondering which ones mean which. So he's brewing up some brew. That's good. Brewing up some brew, I see. And this section's almost done, so we can move on to the next one. So, the purpose of this outflow is the excess water should travel this way. At least that's the hope. Uh, the excess water from in, in these tubes here. Okay. Now I don't actually know if it's actually going to do that or not, but we'll see. It might be so long that uh, water doesn't travel that far. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. But who knows? Get all that stone out of there as well. You know what? Let's get all the stone dumped right now. Some migrants have arrived. Excellent. Welcome to the fortress. Uh, let's go ahead and count them. Alright, they're on the bottom of the screen there. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29. And Mighty Nag has been taken by a mood so we have plenty of people now look at that guys I knew they were they were just must have been stuck in the hills or something who knows <laughs> all right so let's go check on uh, mighty nag here all right mighty nag you're stuck in a fey mood all right um, what I'm gonna do is we'll name our we're gonna go ahead in the let's play here in the next let's play, we're going to start the next let's play with uh, an introduction 
to the brand new miners because this one's been going on for quite a while. Alright, so stay tuned for uh, dwarf naming. We're going to have quite a few new people named, uh, so that's going to be cool. Alright, so if you guys haven't already done so, don't forget to like and subscribe. Liking helps my channel out quite a bit and subscribing as well so you guys get future content from this channel. Alright, so take care and have a good one.